I gotta share this with you. This is from a company called Motor Helix, Civic Type R, EK9. I saw some of their pictures of this and I was just really intrigued. This is probably one of my favorite Hondas of all time. And once I saw those pictures, I'm like, I gotta have one of these. I ordered it before Christmas and I just got it. So the detail of this thing is amazing. I'm gonna show you the car first and kind of give you a walk around of what it looks like. I think if you're a Honda guy too, you're gonna see the amazing detail on this thing. And I mean, it is absolutely perfect. Even when you look underneath it, I mean, look at that. You can see the detail of the engine, you know, the lower manifold, the cat, the exhaust. I mean, the gas tank. And that's not even the part that you see. Where will you see the other side? Check this out. Look at this engine. Now, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you something even more amazing than this. But check this out. Look at the detail of that engine. Of course, this is the right-hand drive model. Let's see if I zoom in here so you can see a little bit clearer. Look at the detail of the engine. I've put the light on it right now, but this is the right-hand drive model. And if you're used to seeing these cars, I mean, this looks like the real thing. I mean, look at that, right down to the JDM Vintag, the radiator support, the condenser support, the air box, the reservoir. I mean, this is fantastic. Look at that as I get really close. Even that clutch master. This is unbelievable. Right down to the dipstick. Look at that. I'm getting real close here. Look at that thing. So as you go around and close the hood, the doors open. They even include a little tool that you can use if your fingernail isn't big enough, which I don't think I can open it. Like that door opens, same thing. Look at the interior. Look at the dash, the steering wheel, the paddles. Yes, it does have three paddles. Look at that. The Recaro seats. This is probably one of the most amazing models, especially that it's a Honda. You never see Honda models this good. It's an amazing model anyway. Let me zoom in there. Look at that. The trunk opens. The trunk has kind of like a felt lining. So it doesn't look like it's just shiny plastic. The molding all looks correct. The inner panels, I mean, right down to the wheels, the brake calipers, everything is absolutely perfectly proportioned. I mean, right down to the stickers. Look at the detail. Look how clean the stickers are. It does come with stickers for a Japanese license plate. It gives you a few different options. But I want to put a couple of little shots of this. I'll put it on like a little rotisserie so I could turn it. Look at this. All right, so here's a quick preview of the other thing that came with it. Then I'm going to show you a close-up of it. That's right, it comes with a spare engine and a cherry picker and the hoist. Now, the engine is really detailed in the car, but this one is even more detailed. I mean, look at that. It's one of the more detailed engines I think I've seen. You can see all the accessories, the belt, the cover, the oil pan is a different color to the block. You can see the back, look at that, the alternator, the filter, the jack shaft, even the IAC valve, the TPS. I mean, this thing is, is just awesome. I'm absolutely blown away with this. Look at this. I mean, you see the size of it compared to my hands. It's tiny and the detail is fantastic. So it all comes separate. The little engine hoist comes separate. The engine comes separate. The cherry picker, the cherry picker here is spring loaded. So, I mean, you could really get and kind of play with it and lift the engine up. and But the engine is obviously the B16B. It's perfectly correct. It does come 
with a little book and some extras right here. And in this bag here, which again, the level of detail on this thing is nuts. This over here, it comes with the little spark plug cover and this little plastic piece here, I haven't even opened this. This is the parcel shelf that goes in here. So when you look through the window, I mean, you can even see the defroster lines on that. When you look through here, that little parcel shelf fits across there. And then that spark plug cover right there. There is actually two. I'm gonna open all this in a minute, but there's enough for this engine. And then there is one to put on this engine. So if you guys are kind of on the fence, because this is an expensive model, it is by no means a cheap model. But for the level of detail, I think it's awesome. So you see how well everything fits? You can't even get your nail in there. So everything fits so tight, it's hard to get your finger in there to open it with the gaps. But look at that, you'd get a complete engine. I mean, if you really want to get crazy, you can take this engine out and put this one in. If you blow this one up, tune it, of course. So let's go ahead and open these real quick. I'm going to show you the little book and I'll show you some shots at the end. These are the accessories. I just realized one of the spark plug covers is on the engine. That is not installed when you get it, but here's the other spark plug cover. I mean, look at the detail of how tiny that is. And it fits on that motor. This is your little parcel shelf. I'm gonna put that in here in a minute just so you can see it. You do get this little number plaque right here. As you see, at the date on it. This is your stickers. You can either put the numbers on there or you can put the Civic Type R license plate on there, which I think I'm gonna do. It comes with this little card it shows you the number it's supposed to be 1199 made mine's 390 it's just got some really cool pictures in there this is really cool the little civic tie bar book and it shows you some pictures of the actual model and then the actual real thing and the level of detail like i'm saying is absolutely out of this world this is one of the hondas i i haven't actually owned i've always wanted to get the ek9 I've had the Civic Type R, I've had the, the FL5, I've had the Integra Type R. I've owned almost every Honda there is except an EK9. And this is the colors that you can get it. And if you order it, these are the colors that you can get it from this company. I, of course, wanted the Championship White. It's just the Honda color when it comes to the Type R. Even though my Integra Type R was yellow, it was the only one I could get at the time. But that kind of shows you a little close-up of the model compared to the real thing. Look at this. So if you're on the fence, if you're remotely into Hondas, you've got to get this thing before it sells out. I've never seen anything this detailed. So let's go ahead and install the little tray right here. Let's make sure it fits in there. I mean, look at the precision of that fitment for a model. Same thing like when the hatch closes, the gaps are perfect. <laughs> Same as the door. I mean, it's tight. Everything lines up. It even comes with this little tool so you can actually open the doors. Like I'm saying, I'm using my fingernail here. If you get it just right, you can open it. And then same on the other side. But it fits nice. You can't really get your finger in anywhere else to open this thing. It fits so good. Let's see, but look at that interior. Kind of red carpet on the door panels. That thing is magic. There it is. I'll put a link in the description to where I got it. There's a few places to sell it. It's kind of an expensive model, so make sure you buy it from someone that you know is going to send it to you. I'm sure people are buying these things and marking them up like they usually do, or they're advertising that they have these things and they don't. So just buy it from a seller that you trust. Anyway, this is one of those. This is what I bought myself for Christmas kind of post. So check out our other videos if you're into Hondas. I'm gonna do more because I did buy other things for myself. I don't often buy those things, but I figured I'll share it with you. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, enjoy your cars.